It's a word that strikes fear into the hearts of governments, businesses and households. Recession. Australia hasn't had one for more than 30 years, but ahead of Tuesday's federal budget, we're being warned the economic storm clouds are gathering. Max Futcher reports. Greed, for lack of a better word, is good. Greed is right. Greed works. And it did for much of the 80s. Freeing up financial markets saw money flow like French champagne, but there'd be a reckoning. Black Tuesday, October 1987, carnage on Wall Street, catastrophe here. This has been a horrific morning. It sowed the seeds for Australia's worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. Inflation would surge. The RBA would counter by lifting official interest rates to a record 17.5% by January 1990. Great for savers, a disaster for anyone with a mortgage. Businesses across the country, like Expo Furniture at Browns Plains, buckled under the weight. It's the first bankruptcy I've been through. And now they shut me out of my own factory. In November 1990, it was official. The accounts do show that Australia's in a recession. The most important thing about that is, that this is a recession that Australia had to have. Keating would respond by floating the dollar, cutting tariffs and introducing compulsory super. We had to have it to really tread the world stage and set us up for what, the next 30, 40, 50 years. It was that significant. The recession lasted 15 months before technically ending in early 92, by which time a million people were out of work. For many Australians, we are not yet out of recession because there will still be Australians who are unable to uh, find work. Unemployment peaked above 11% that December and even though interest rates would plummet, high jobless rates would plague the 90s. Today, interest rates are again on the rise to fight inflation. Six increases since May, the official rate 2.6% with another forecast before Christmas. The Albanese government delivers its first budget on Tuesday against a backdrop of gathering storm clouds on the international horizon. The likelihood of recession has tipped over from possible to probable. Our economy is so efficient, our federal treasurers have traditionally been really good at dealing with these and we produce what the world wants and that usually puts a safety net under us. Time for the weather now. Here's Bertie. Thanks for that, Katrina. Hello, everybody. Well, it certainly was a wild day across the southeast. A lot of that system just staying off the coast. We're still bringing 100 millimetres to near on to 100 across certain areas of the southeast sector. Now, that system has moved further down off the border, meaning we're slowly seeing those winds turning more into southwest. That gives us a good indication that that system has passed by. But still a few showers lingering. Expect more throughout the evening, easing back, of course, chance of storms tomorrow. Temperature-wise, today highs at 22 to 24 degrees, down about 18 to 19 overnight to the charts here. You can see that low hovering off southeast Queensland throughout the day today. There is a high in the far northern parts of the state. We're going to see that shifting to the south over the coming days, particularly on Wednesday into Thursday. But it's also going to bring some really hot temperatures tomorrow, exceptionally muggy. And you can see that low shifting further off northern New South Wales, bringing in some flood warnings for the Northern Rivers region. They are on the next line of fire. As we take a look around the nation now, we're going to see some showers set for Sydney and Canberra. A couple of showers also for Melbourne. Fine, though, for those in the tropics, 35 for Darwin. Back to Cairns, it's going to be fine conditions, 32. Possible shower in the afternoon for Townsville and Mackay. Also picking up around Rockhampton through to around Bundaberg. And then a shower starting to increase again around Maribra in Gympie. Also on the range at Toowoomba, tops of around 23. Not much shower activity, just a few isolated here and there. In the southeast, similar conditions. However, there is a chance with uh, warm temperatures getting up into the 30s. Obviously, very muggy day. That's going to bring uh, some storm activity. Could trigger enough to trigger some storms as that system comes in. Uh, of course, uh, could see some heavier rain under those cells. Highs of 31 degrees and 32 degrees around Ipswich. Uh, we're going to see around 29 degrees to 28 around the coastal regions. On the water, southwest to northwest winds, turning north as the day gets on 15 knots, sees one metre. And 18 to 31 in the city, going to see a possible shower or storm coming through. Looking ahead now, 
It's going to be a top of 29 degrees for Tuesday, clearing up for Wednesday and Thursday. Similar for Ipswich on Tuesday, 30 degrees, clearing up Wednesday, Thursday. And for the Gold and Sunshine Coast, we can expect very similar conditions, of course, into Tuesday, but then breaking as we move in towards Thursday, Friday. Uh, that high will shift down, clearing skies there. Katrina, great news. We're about to get some drier weather coming through also for the GC500. Let's just get through this little bit of uh, advert weather at the moment, though. Fantastic stuff. Thank you, Bertie. That is all from us this Sunday. Thank you for your company. We will have updates throughout the evening. But for now, from all the team, have a great night. <laughs>